Good morning. It's Thursday, August 31st, 2023, back at the dacha. And what am I doing today? Well, I'm going to turn the camera around and I'll show you. I still have this to cut up. And that's my objective today, to cut this up using Mad Max here. And if I have time, I want to clean this area up over here. And let's take a look at our wood. Oh. Well, I actually started about 15 minutes ago. So I got this first wheelbarrow load cut up. <clears throat> and I'm going to start stacking it up here. One, well, of course, I'll have to cover it up. So just the top part, I will cover with some plastic. I've got plastic right over here. So I might as well utilize it. That way it'll dry from the top and it can, or it'll be covered up at the top and she can still dry on the side. Anyways, I got to get to work. So this is my plan for today. All right, let's go to work. Okay, I'm done. Done for today. I'm going to turn the camera around. And I'm going to show you what I did. Here it is. One more row completed. So now I have four rows. And... Everything is all removed out of here. It's all cut up. So now I need to cover this up. I got some plastic and let it dry some more so that the rain doesn't get on it. So this is a good start for my wood stove inside my workshop right over there. And that's that. Okay, got to cover it up and then got to go home. Okay, now it's time to go home. So I covered up my firewood and covered up Mad Max over there. So out of the rain. And now let her dry. August 31st. September 30th. October 31st. So we got about two months and a bit of... It to dry more. I mean, it was already dry to start out with, but just to have it covered up. Some of the big pieces, the big branches were a little bit damp, but there it is. Four rows. Uh, a little bit over a cord. A cord of wood. And how long would that last me? Well, the variables are how cold is it going to be? That's number one. And number two, how long will I be working each time that I'm here? And number three, how often will I be coming that I have to use the stove? So those are the three variables that I can't tell you. But uh, I just don't want to run out of wood. So this is a start. And I need to bring more. I'll haul in some more. And I'm thinking possibly right here to pile up the wood so i need to be quite close to the shop so when it's really cold i don't have to go too far to get my wood so that's that's what i'm thinking i don't know things can change but this area right here is a good spot to probably put another maybe two cords of wood so if that's four rows i would need another eight rows yeah and three cords of wood, I think, would be more than enough. More than enough to heat that little place. Plus, what I want to do is I, I want to close that off there. I want to actually crawl up into the attic and uh, insulate it so that when I'm going to be working in there, I won't be losing too much heat and I won't burn as much. Anyways, I got to get going home. I'm done for today. I don't know. Tomorrow. What's happening tomorrow? We'll see. Ah, September 1st. Kids go back to school. So I guess I'll be taking the kids to school and checking out what they have to do for the first day of school. I'll probably videotape that. Anyways, I like my hydrangeas. Pretty good. They're solid. That's what I like. All right, got to go, got to lock everything up, and I'm out of here. Paka, paka.